<laughs> no! <laughs> this winner semi. No! <laughs> no! Uh, Rob is big, <laughs> I guess. I guess as, as we're gonna we're gonna actually that, that extra large too. Uh, Rob is big, and so are these landing nares that she's uh, landing on. Uh, well, not even landing, just kind of using it as a kind of a wall yeah, to just... avoid getting uh, hit by any of BBs or Lucario's hits. Uh, wow, that's just, this is nasty. Okay. Oh my God, not getting the type off stage. That would have been death, I think. Maybe, and I mean, you know, that's huge against the against Vivi's Lucario, because I mean, you know, Vivi, Vivi takes Aura and runs with it, as any good Lucario should. But I mean, Vivi's pressure is just so insane. Oh yeah, Vivi's shield pressure is uh, absolutely insane. If he's able to get Aura Sphere uh, right against your shield, and you almost can't do anything about it because he'll just back air you, or for, or, or, or literally just Aura Sphere and you'll die. Or he can just command grab you. Or command Even grab if you, you. Yes. Don't let go of shield. It's you so can still scary. just die. So again, this is a uh, very, you know, we've seen the match over and over again, and it's, it's never consistent. You know, you always see someone else wins in the end. And that's what I love about this matchup. You never know what to expect. It's never like an easy like win for Dota, easy win for VB. They both have to sweat and actually play out of their minds, which is what VB is doing right now. Both characters are uh, pretty much almost the same percentage. All right, looking for the back air at ledge, not quite finding it. Oh okay. my god, that's so scary, Great that's so scary. I've been seeing her do that pull out pull that out way more often now. Using the arm rooter as a as a as a reflector that it is. And Dill, had that been a fully a fully charged one, it would have broken a shield. Yeah, and Dill wasn't able to get the tech read there. Giving Vivi another lease on life to just pressure with this a hundred percent aura right now. Alright, not able to find the up air follow-up. But Dill stuck on the Pokemon Stadium 2 platform. I know she has to really try to make it back to the uh, to the center stage, or else Vivi's gonna take this take this stock from her, like the first one, and run with it uh, with Aura and with Rage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see how huge that Aura Sphere is getting right now. Um, All right, getting the up there. I really like the idea from Vivi to go for get up attack there uh, to try and catch Dill, you know, poking her arms up with the up air uh, to really interrupt it, but it just didn't quite pan out. I think it came out a little bit too early. Yeah, I agree. Here we have Dill. We have Dill is pretty much a really scary percentage. Even for Lucario on Aura, no rage. Still a scary percentage for herself. And you know what? It's not even that bad. You know, she's she's been doing some crazy stuff. I see I've been seeing some gyro play recently with her. Where, oh, okay, getting the spore smash, getting the gyro off play. Not getting a laser though. And Vivi using extreme speed extreme, extreme speed extremely well to maneuver around uh Dill. Yeah, and I mean that's something you have to do around Dill. Something we've seen from Dill so often is how good she is at, you know, taking care of, you know, really common player habits. Like a lot of players would have just gone to ledge with extreme speed there. And you could see Dill trying to cover it with a hitbox. So getting those really unorthodox recoveries, and I mean, you know, extreme speed is one of the most unorthodox recoveries. It's um, evil. It's weird. It's chaotic. No, I believe. Yeah, there we go. We got Gyro on deck on the, on the on the ledge. And oh no, it's not actually work against uh, against Dill. Had now that Vivi had used a Gyro against herself. Alright, All right, getting the high Dil, recovery. Yeah, Dill's been taking the high road so much this set, and I do agree with it because Lucario just doesn't have anything to cover that at all. Unless Vivi has Gyro in hand. He just has to respect it. Yeah, there's, there's nothing you can really do unless your character happens to go that high as well. Uh, to yeah, you're gone. There we go. The art, the aura sphere into force palm. That's horrifying. It's, it's, a, it's just a scary ghost screen. He just grabs you. <laughs> everything goes quiet. It zooms in, and it's like you're dead. It it reminds me of that uh that meme where it's just like the realistic hand coming towards the screen. Oh my god! That's what Lucario oh, I does. Got it. I, I got it. Give me your stock. <laughs> Give me your stock. <laughs> <laughs> they can't see us, but that's so funny. Like, <laughs> Oh my god. Give it to me now. <laughs> that's so scary. And getting grab Lucario is just like, you know, all right, you got it. You got it. My fault. Definitely uh, my fault. Look at that. He was able to hit confirm. It. <laughs> He was able to hit confirm just the smallest of tangent lines of the Aura Sphere, popping, popping Dill up, and was able to get the Force Palm for it. All right, we're going right back over to PS2, as we do over here at uh, wait at that waypoint, as you know. 
Both players playing fairly patiently so far, not committing too hard. And I don't think they should at the moment, you know, keep, trying to keep it a little bit more neutral. Um, and more or less, I, I'm sure Doe's trying to really set up a, some, a few of her, her gyro setups that she's been doing recently. The gyro wall, the bouncing wall is horrifying. Mm -hmm. And racks up 60% if she's able to do it correctly. That up tilt from Lucario reaches so far to the right. And BB was able to get a juggle off of it, getting the F smash, putting Dill off stage. Not that she's uncomfortable there, because like we've seen so often, she can just go high. She can go high, she can side beat you off the stage, she's in, she does not care if she's off stage. But what she should care about is Vivi is fully starting to get more aura and more uh, rage set, on, set onto Lucario, making him more of a devious character to even play against. And also, can we just take a moment to, to really acknowledge uh, Vivi's movement with Lucario in, in recent days? Loving the wave dashing, uh, the wave dashing, the B-reverse, and a little bit of that shield pressure actually we were talking about earlier. Yeah, Vivi, I think, was looking for a ladder combo right there because you can ladder or a sphere charge. Oh, that was great timing on Vivi to really uh, catch her, her slow falling. We see Spade back on stage. Yeah, Wait, and of course. Waiting it out, good. Yeah, Vivi delaying that extreme speed because he can. Go, just, Dill just barely not able to get that forward air. Vivi with another lease on life. 130% of aura. Dill has to be careful. Oh, absolutely. But so does Vivi, because uh, if, 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 yep. The laser, not quite. And that, that's the maneuver. Such insane angle. Do it again. That's oh. insane. That was actually beautiful on, on Dill's part, catching Vivi. Vivi's recovery like twice with extreme speed, which is so difficult to do in general. It is, and I mean, good on Dill, not letting Vivi get a, a cent of extra credit, bringing this right back to even fresh second stocks. No, literally, like she was like, "You're not gonna actually touch me." And it's gonna be really funny, and, and it's funny because now Dill has 41% on her. Wow, I love when things go a complete opposite of what I say. Yeah, I know Vivi certainly no slouch with those uh, low to no aura combos. Oop, down tilt pressure. Ooh. All right, that was a good confirm with the Nair into the uh, dash attack. Good use of the forward air by Dill to catch Vivi's movement. And again, just Vivi has to respect that when, when Dill goes high. Yeah, D Vivi really does have to, you have to, you really do have to respect uh, Rob in general when he goes high, but you also have to respect this Rob on ledge trying to edge guard you. And if, if you do a point of complete reversal, throwing Dill onto the side of the stage, again, cannot contest that whatsoever. Yeah, and even with uh, Lucario's up air, because Lucario up air doesn't have much of a horizontal hitbox, you really have to aim that. So when Dill is able to get that drift that she had, Vivi's just not able to contest it at all. We can see Vivi, you know, trying to jump up and find something, but you know, committing to those options is what's letting Dill come back down. Great punch on the, on the, on the oh. Wow. Now, not only did you hit by a laser, you got hit by the laser twice. All right, Such now. a high percentage for both players. Ooh. But going the side B, that would have definitely been death for Vivi. And he's going to get the up, not, up, up throw. Yeah, that was actually Ooh. a really... I really love the idea of the, um, the arm rotor by Dill. Because she hasn't recovered from that area oh, for right. so That's long. Gone. And he, she knows that Vivi was looking for that kill and probably would have thrown out an Aura Sphere uh, to catch Dill coming up from ledge, but the Arm Rotor would have covered it. See, so now we're going to see uh, pretty much an even game at the moment. Vivi at 20%, and honestly, could be could be last game for Vivi, or we could go to a game three situation if Dill's able to kind of take it out. She has been doing very extremely well getting 57 off of Vivi and nothing on herself and only stacking up with all these uh all these down tilt up throws. I mean uh, blah, 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 up airs. Right. Vivi getting a quick combo of his own uh not putting a oh whole my lot of percentage on Dill, but you know every every little bit counts, especially with a a heavy boy like Rob. Definitely heavy boy like Rob. Anything really counts against Rob and this is Dill's Rob, you know? That was such a scary just Vivi walking up on Dill's shield right there, uh, especially because you know Dill was turned around. She couldn't really come out of shield with much. Okay. Yeah, Dill trying to do a lot of these down tilt pressure, and she's doing an amazing job. It might be if he's, she's able to do a side B, possibly a fair there. 
Not able to None. close it out, and that is just giving Vivi rage and aura. Already at 120%, you know, you could just die to a Force Bomb right now. Or die to rock down throw. That was such throw. a good setup. Into up to, oh, oh no! no. Not, not even insane up mash there. by Vivi. I know, Vivi's mash game is absolutely insane. And no, there's no way. Oh my god! Like and I like such we... good movement to bait. Uh, to bait Dill jumping out of the sh out of shield. Dill was, or I mean, Vivi was just able to capitalize on it with the with the up air. And he he had the last lock right here. Yeah, right there. Vivi jumping towards Dill's shield and just like, hey, you want to do something? You want to pick an option? Here we go. Oh yeah. So he completely just caught her jump out of shield, and had he. It, it was honestly detrimental for uh, Dill, because had she dropped her shield, she would have gotten hit with the up air. Had she, now that she jumped, she got hit with the up air. She was, there was almost nothing she could do besides roll to the other side of the stage, or other side of the platform, in order to get out of this kind of situation that she put herself in. With, with wait, what, what percent was was all that? Like, uh, 96 oh after my, hit. Mine's, yeah, she was at 95 before, I guess. Oh, okay, I see, I see. And then she took like 1%, funny. Comes back down, and like we said, Lucario at 146 percent with Aura is ex horrifying. That did 114. Wait, what? What? 114 was, uh, minus 96. That was 18 like percent. Uh, see, see, I, I don't not look at math. So <laughs> this is how my brain works. <laughs> yeah. I saw 96 jump to 118. In my mind, oh my god, that's like 50 percent damage. <laughs> <laughs>